Hey guys, Jen here. So I had a custom order for my oatmeal milk and honey soap. And I thought, you know what? While I'm doing it, uh, it was just a custom order for six bars. But I thought while I was doing it, I would go ahead and make a double batch and stock up on the website. So that's what we are doing. Her only request was no glitter, which is, I never put glitter in my oatmeal soap, so that was no issue there. Hot lye water. Uh, I am. We've got all of our additives back here. Um, extra oatmeal, uh, kale and clay, and uh, heavy cream, and the fragrance. And I've got my honey. Um, it's sitting in the microwave. When I'm ready for it, I will turn it on for maybe 10 seconds. And that will help to liquefy it enough that it will all come out of the container that it's in for the batch of soap. And that's all that goes in here. This is a wonderful soap. One of my favorites. And that's that. So I'll pause you guys, bring you back when we get ready for the good stuff. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to mix up all my additives. It's good incorporated. Just a couple little chunks. Let's get this in, and then I'll go pop the honey in for like 10 seconds. It doesn't hurt it, it just allows me to get it all out of the container and not waste it. Alright, let's go turn this on for about 10 seconds. Timer, 10, and start. Now, you have to be careful when you add honey or any sugar to your soap, whether that be milk um, or anything like that. It can cause your soap to overheat, so you need to be careful. Just keep a really close eye on your soap. Let's go ahead and add our fragrance. This is oatmeal, milk, and honey. We're going to really, really blend this really good. Because I'm not doing anything else, so it's okay if it gets to a medium thick tray. We really want to make sure we incorporate all of the honey, and then there's not any pockets of it. Now, it can turn your soap a nice golden color. It's just the sugars. You can add a little titanium dioxide to help combat it. And then once your soap cures out, it will lose that orangey color. It's 
just the heat. Cooking the honey. I think that looks good. Get us a mold up here. I'll pour this yummy soap in. Woo! Do you see how far that went up there? It almost wanted out. Now I won't refrigerate this. Um I have a fan going and the air conditioner going where it will be sitting. I'm wiping off the excess honey on my spatula. And I will keep a close eye on the soap to not overheat. If it would go to overheat, then I would throw it in the fridge. And I mean overheating as in starting to bubble up. Uh, turning full gel, I don't worry with, you know, that's fine. It can gel all it wants to, but I don't want it to overheat. Gelling uh, your soap makes for a harder bar of soap initially. Uh, all soap, you know, will cure out to harden well, but gelling it, um, will help you get it out of the mold faster, I guess you could say. I'm gonna put this down on the ground and give it a little smackaroo. Somebody commented in a video in the past to be careful. I always am careful, have glasses on. not really looking to really texture the soap this time maybe just a little design and I may come back in a few minutes and do this again but then again I may just leave it as is it's a very slight texture on top. Alright guys, I'll bring you back for the cutting. Hey guys, I am back to cut the oatmeal soap. And as in all the other videos, we're just going to do one. This one's really simple. As you can see, it's just a nice, yummy, creamy color inside. Hope you guys are all having a good day. We are. Noah has a field trip tomorrow. He's super excited about. such a beautiful soap. I mean it really is. One that I have a hard time keeping in stock. got one more cut and that's that all right guys thanks for watching